when uh, clients come to see uh, us, um, because we're going to talk about the finances, they may think we're going to start talking about the budget, about tax, uh, and about pensions or structures. Mm. Um, and whilst we will talk about that, it's almost, let's say, secondary. So what, what I mean, Jimmy, if I sat you down in my office and said, great, lovely to see you today, let's talk to you about your pensions. Mm. Okay, it's probably not the most exciting conversation you're going to have. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's kind of like a necessary evil. It's fine, but it sounds a bit dry, a bit yeah. dull. I mean, yeah. look, I find these things even though you've not, you know, exciting. you've got to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it takes all sorts, Simon. That's why we need you <laughs> for sure. <laughs> um, but if we change that conversation yeah. to say, well, actually, what does post work living yeah. look like? What yeah. does retirement look like? What Let's get you excited mm. about what your future life's going to be. Yeah, instantly to me, that's more colourful, that's it's more interesting. Different conversation, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, now, we will have to talk about yeah. pensions, okay? Because they form a part of making this life great for you. But it's not the thing perhaps we want to talk about first of all. We want to really talk about you, what's going to look great to you, what's exciting in the future, and how we can make your assets achieve that for you. And that's okay. the plan. So in other words, feelings and emotions, I mean, it's quite obvious, but they're really important. Yeah, for sure. And, and uh, you know, on the title, we put emotionless investing. Mm. Okay, We can never, unfortunately, make anything emotionless. Okay, Because as humans, um, we are emotional creatures. Yeah. All right? uh, and we've spoken in previous webinars about hundreds of thousands of years of evolution. Um, we make decisions based upon emotions. And, and that's one of the things that actually makes us uniquely human. Mm -hmm. So we, we can't get away from emotions. But emotions are powerful, mm -hmm. right? So excitement and fear, sometimes they make us do some crazy things, right? Um, and ironically, both of those are, are driven by the same chemical, which is adrenaline, which is the fight or flight response. Okay. So if we take, for example, uh, let's have a look at the stock market. Or, you know, if you've invested and you see your money fall and we have a market crash and your money falls 20%, that's not going to feel great, first of all. Sure. Fear starts to kick in. Fear, yeah. My hard-earned money's being lost. And what can happen in those moments? Emotions kick in. Mm -hmm. You may then want to take your money out when you've already lost money. Yeah. Now, we could say you're being irrational. Right? But in that moment... You've done your research, mm -hmm. okay? You've, re you've listened to the news, you've read the media that has told you that the world's going to, to hell because yeah, yeah. <laughs> they lead on the negative bias. Um, and you think you'll feel safer in that moment. So you're making a rational decision in your mind. So there's no point me telling you you're being irrational because we're going to butt up against each other. It's like telling someone to calm down. Oh, <laughs> it never sure. works. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Um, so we've got to recognise that emotions will influence decision. And probably what's happened in that moment, you've lost composure. Okay, and com so an emotional, powerful uh, a feelings come through you and your composure in that moment has been lessened. Yeah. Now we've done a plan over maybe 10, 20, 30 years to achieve all these fantastic things you want to do. But in the short term, your, your view and your lens has come right to the short term, you lost composure. Yeah. So we need to extend that composure back out to your long-term time horizon to make sure you're not making any poor decision making. Okay, so just to help our viewers get their head around this, I, you usually come with an mm. analogy. So what's today's analogy? Uh, yeah, so I think in the past, what have we talked about? We've horses, all sorts of horses um, <laughs> mountaineering, I mountaineers. think. We, we're going to keep going up into the yep. air. Today I'm going to talk about pilots. I think next time I'm going to okay, have to talk yeah. about something in space. If space we, rockets, we yeah. Um, but at the risk of um, offending pilots world over, um, a pilot's job quite boring uh, in most of the times. Okay, you take off, you fly, you land. I've simplified, of course, but in that period, it's quite boring. Interspersed by moments of sheer terror. Okay, mm -hmm. something goes wrong. Yeah. Now, a pilot through their training, they'll have put through hundreds, if not thousands of hours of simulations so that when those moments of sheer terror occur, emotions will be flying through, adrenaline will pump through their body because of fight or flight, but they're able to regain and Stay, keep composure yeah, yeah, yeah. because they've been put in that position. So the composure mm. is fine. They react. They get you safely down. Mm. Looking at investments, as I said, investments should also be boring. Okay, Three times out of four on average, the markets go up. That's a pretty good percentage rate. But occasionally, we'll see a market crash mm -hmm. and composure can be lost. Now, as an investor, Jim, have you invested with us? We don't put you through hundreds of hours of simulation training in that moment. It good. just 
happens. Okay, you've got far better things to do in life than us sit down and talk to. Mm. But we need to make sure that in that moment when you are reacting, yeah. that you understand why, yeah. what you're doing, and how that could influence your long term. Yeah, and there's no uh, need for plan. panic when things go down. Correct. Yeah. It's yeah. a natural part of mm -hmm. investing in the stock market, they will fall. Mm -hmm. So it's regaining that composure, trying to cut out the short term noise. The idea basically being is what we're aiming to achieve for you is investment returns rather than investor returns. Now, investor returns are often lower than investment returns because we panic, because we can make some poor decisions in the short term, and we like to tinker. Yeah. Okay. Leave your investments alone, and that will help you achieve investment returns, not investor returns. Okay, so there's a lot of reassurance in your job as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.